What is happening, sports fans? It's your main man, Matt, from the DFS 5-pack, here with my main man, the DFS Patriot. It is Tuesday, March 1st. Springtime's coming, man. I wish I could say baseball was on the horizon, but who knows? What's what's happening with you, dog? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, there's hope. I mean, they met for, what, 16 hours yesterday? I mean, you don't meet for 16 hours unless you're trying to work on something a little bit more than what it was before, so. I imagine they'll play. I just, I don't know about a full season at this point. It just sucks that baseball is almost on the fringe of irrelevance. I was hearing people talk about it yesterday, and as much as I hate to admit it, it's true. Like, baseball, MLB, simply has not helped themselves as far as gaining new fans, growing the game, et cetera, like the NBA and NFL has. And as a baseball nut, it's sad, man. It is sad. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, me personally, I gave up baseball my sophomore year of high school uh, just because I couldn't, you know, I needed more speed and more continuation, and that wasn't for me. So, you know, with America keeps saying, oh, it's a dying sport, and then there's something like this happens, it just kills, you know, any interest the younger kids had. I remember in, like, 94 when they, you know, locked out, it really took years for them to get to, like, gain their reputation back, and I'm worried the same thing's going to happen here, but Hopefully, like you said, they met for 16 hours. Hopefully, they come to an agreement sooner rather than later, and we can get baseball going. Until then, we got the NBA to talk about. I know your your Celtics are on the slate tonight. We only got six games, so this shouldn't take too long. Uh, yep. You got DK pulled up? Yes, sir. And also, too, before we get started on this, I want to thank everyone that reached out via the Facebook post and posted them some of that stuff so that we can – new and improve the whole the whole shebang so i appreciate you guys for doing that yeah we got some new things coming up uh in the very near future excited to talk to you guys about that sooner rather than later um and yeah man i know you've been doing a lot of stuff on the back end like trying to upgrade the website and stuff like that so very much appreciated for my end yes sir all right so six games unfortunately we don't have the luxury like last night where everything ended at eight o'clock that was so um nice. It was so nice. I mean, I knew – so the Bruins started at 10.30, and I knew by 10.30 what my lineup was doing, which was phenomenal. That's amazing. Yeah, and the Bruins decided to win 7 nothing, and I could go to bed after the first period. But that's a different story for a different day. Okay, so we have – the first game is Detroit-Washington. So Diallo is questionable. Bagley is doubtful. He was just downgraded. Um, and Frank Jackson is now probable. Yeah, so their Pistons are coming off a nice win, actually, in Charlotte, OT win. Um, as far as the DFS perspective today, the one guy I'm looking at is, well, a couple guys, actually. Kelly Olenek, I think it's my favorite, though. Oh, Kelly O, man, this man has not changed or aged one bit since he came right. in the league as a Celtic. I mean, I don't expect the 40, but with Bagley out, I mean, he's coming off the game winner. He hit that game winner in Charlotte. I don't oh. know. He's 4,900, so... He's like my favorite piece of Detroit, but then also Jeremy Grant. I still think is priced very affordably. Yes, I would agree with that. I would completely agree. I mean, sixty three hundred. I mean, still too cheap. I mean, he's probably more of a sixty eight to seven k type player. I agree with that. So yeah, I have no issues going there, and especially again with no Bagley on the floor, it's just you know a little bit more usage and a little bit more reboundability for him. Exactly. Um, this game kind of this game's a stinker. I mean, from a real life perspective, maybe not from a DFS perspective. Although I don't want to be like loading up on it. Olenek, no, I'm not, not loading. Olenek, Grant, and then from the other side, I am looking at a couple guys from the other side, namely Gafford and KCP. All right, good. Whew, you made me nervous. Every time I see Washington, I know what you're going to say. It. I don't want you to say it. But yes, Gafford, I mean, Gafford's playing good ball right now. He's getting good minutes to, you know, go along with that. And, you know, Detroit matchup that no one's really afraid of. I mean, at 3,600, I mean, the guy's been crushing value. Yeah, he's 3,600. Sucks that he's only center eligible, but I think you just play him and move on. There are other good center plays, but he's so cheap. Um, right. KCP also really, really cheap. Um, Washington has some cheap pieces here. Yeah, they do. I mean, they, I mean, you just said, you know, KCP. And then on top of that, too, like, you know, like, Nito's been playing pretty decent balls, only 4,500. Um, I have no problem using him. I mean, you know, you're going to get these floor-type games, but even at that floor-type game at 4,500, like, he's not killing you a lot. I'd be sure he's always winning you anything. He's, but, like, my least favorite, but I agree. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm just thinking more of a perspective of, like, you know, he's going to have the ball in his hand. He's bringing the ball up. He's the primary holder. True. So, Rui opportunity is going to present itself. Rui at but, um, 
3,400 also, I think is worth a look. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, he, uh, that's, that's so funny that they have him at 60. That's like that 76 for Jakob Poto. Um, but yeah, yeah I mean, I have no game. A 76 uh, minute game would be like eight overtimes. Seriously. That would be like every man on that bench would have cramps like there's no tomorrow. And no, they'd have to have played eight overtimes. Like, right, well, on top of all that. Yeah, right. So, like, this is yeah. so wrong. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, Rui at 3,400 is worth a flyer. And then, yeah, I know you, you hate him, but Kuzma, I mean, he's in play. Like, he's expensive, but he deserves that price tag. I mean, with Beal not playing, with Dinwiddie gone. Like, is Porzingis ever going to play, do you think? I don't know. I mean, look at that. Like, in Cleveland, not a good spot. Yeah. Like, and they scored 86 points in that game, and he put up 62. 34 points. of them. And that's crazy, like, to have that many DK points in a game where your team only scores 86. I mean, he's yeah, really yeah. throwing up the stat sheet. Like, yeah, it feels weird to pay 9,200 for him, but I don't think he's out of play. I'll say that. I don't think he's out of play, no. I mean, he might, he's probably not going to be my, my stud of choice. But, I mean, 9,200, I mean, his, his stat line right now, you know, these past two games have been, you know, very similar to an 11-5 player. And people don't want to play him. So that's one reason, like, I like tournaments. But yeah, I mean, certainly, you know, the price is up there. So it's not no longer like, I mean, it's, there's risk for sure because you need a huge score at that price. I mean, I remember when we were talking, like, down, like, here range, when he was 7-5 to 7-9, we were like, ugh. Yeah, honestly, though, like, he's, like, played better than a 9 k Like, he still might be too cheap. I know that sounds crazy to say, but... I mean, like, even when he was in that 7,400 range, like, he's high 40s, 50s. Right. I mean, yeah, there's some stinkers in there. He's not, you know, LeBron James. He's not going to do it every single night, but that's why the ownership's not there. He's definitely my favorite piece of Washington, price not considered. Yeah, I would agree with that, for sure. I mean, he's just by far their best DFS player, but that is what it is. Moving on to the next one. Next game, Atlanta-Boston, so... I only know the spread because I just put on it. Uh, Celtics are six and a half point favorites. So Capella, I mean, I'm sorry, John Collins is probably going to be out again, I assume. Yeah, doubtful. Yeah, so, I don't much from Atlanta. I think DeAndre Hunter at 4,600 is fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't mind going back to Bogdan again either. Yeah, I don't mind Bogdan. Riding, riding that train out. I mean, I mean, even on a bad game last last time, he put up 28 at 6k which is again almost five times value lost run because they were rolling yeah uh he's yeah. just playing solid ball right now i agree i definitely like him again him and deandre hunter um two guys i could definitely see using is kind of just like you know cheaper fill-ins not ex hunter plays huge minutes i'll say that well i was gonna say yeah look at the guys i mean they were they were up by 30 and he was still playing every damn minute he possibly could yeah, that is weird. I mean, we just saw him at, at play 38 minutes in Boston on the 13th of February. He had 20, 60K points, shot four of 16. Like, that's very replicable in my mind. Yep. Uh, so, for a game we get later on, there's just some news that came. I don't know if it did come out or if it's updated. Um, Van Vliet and, and Ananobi are now questionable. Oh, yeah, I see that now. So it'll be tough to talk about them, but... Yeah. See. Especially, wasn't Ian Nobi supposed to be out for, like, a month? Yeah, I thought so. And it's only been, like, what, two weeks? Yeah, it's only been, like, I thought it's been, like, a week. Maybe it has only been a week. I feel like it's been, a, a, like, less than a, a lot less than a month. That's for sure, I'm sure. Yeah, I agree. I mean, what about Trey Young here? I mean, yeah. I mean, the only thing that I worry about is he's going to be flip-flopping between... Marcus Smart and Derek White, but again, it's it's Trey Young. Yeah, exactly. Like it's Trey Young. He was awesome last game. I don't think I spend, you know, I prioritize him here, but you could certainly do worse. Um, oh yeah. This game is filled with guys like that. Like the Boston side's really hard to get to because of their price tags. I mean, they're playing good ball, but they're really hard to get to from a DFS perspective on slates like this because they're just healthy and priced how they should be. I mean, your your boy Robert Williams is fine always is in the tournaments. Mm -hmm. But no one here is like, I have to lock them in. No, and I mean, I think, you know, again, if you, I know, I saw some of the screenshots, you know, um, if you guys are playing across both sites, like Tatum's price is like 
82 on FanDuel. He's a which lock. is just stupid. Yeah, he's a lock. I mean, even at so like, 98, he looks good here. I mean, he's been – I mean, take out the last game because, it, I mean, like I said, I bet against the Celtics. I never bet against the Celtics. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a bad game for him. But, but, but prior to that, I mean, they're moving the ball well. You know, he's getting good shots. He's still getting a healthy amount of shots, obviously. Um, I, I have no Stop problem with him. comparing him to a guy like Kuzma because he's so much better than Kuzma, but so are his teammates around him, which from a DFS right. perspective, like – like if, if, you switched, if you switched Kuzma and Tatum, Kuz, oh like their, their teams tonight, Kuzma would like not be in play at 9,200. And Tatum no. would be like 100% owned at 9,800 because he'd be averaging like 70 DK points a game for this Wizards team. Oh my God, yeah. Oh yeah, if you, <laughs> yeah, that'd be a scary thought. You know? But, you know, I like to, I like to imagine Jason Tatum as a career greener. So uh, let's just leave it that way. Yeah, he's, he's really good. <laughs> um, He's really good. Uh, I think he's definitely in play here at ninety-eight. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I don't mind taking a shot again a, on a guy like Grant Williams because just he does a little bit of everything. I don't like him as a player, but for that team, he fits a decent role. And he's been a ton of minutes for them. So I mean, again, last game was a huge stinker, but like, look at the minutes he's producing at thirty-eight hundred. I don't like him, you know, a ton, but I think on a tournament he can provide you some upside at thirty-eight hundred. Yeah, I mean, not for me, but I mean, he's thirty eight hundred, so I just, I won't play him. You know that. I mean, yeah. he sucks. Yeah, he uh, trust me, trust me. He I watched enough Celtics. He sucks. Okay, so we got Brooklyn, Toronto back to back. They just played last night inside uh, Brooklyn. Now they're in Toronto, where Kyrie can still not play. Yeah, um, man, Toronto. So Drummond is questionable too. Yeah, so if he's all of a sudden now, this game's like really hard to talk about now with, you know. Drummond being questionable on the Toronto side is just impossible to talk about at the moment. Right. But, I mean, if Drummond's out, I mean, you got to assume what Claxton's going to play the big minutes, right? The younger kid. I mean, Aldridge will play his minutes, but I don't, I don't see him playing any more than where he's been standardized at. I, I could see him playing, like, 30. And at, at a 4,500, he's definitely in play for me. What, and nothing for Claxton? Nah. I think Claxton uh-huh. probably plays, like, 18, 16, and all Aldridge plays the rest. All right, all right. So I think, yeah, whoever starts at center for them, I could be wrong. It. I could be wrong there for sure, but that's just how I feel because I don't think they have a problem playing Aldridge like thirty minutes, one game. Yeah, like James Johnson also, but and his price tag's getting up there. Like I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, his his price tag's getting up there, and he didn't play. I mean, they got blown out, but it didn't really matter. He's not a guy that will play blowout runs, so. Right. Seth Curry was so disappointing being like the same price as Scotty Barnes. Oh, I know, dude. Scotty Barnes went bananas. Yeah, he went absolutely ape shit. Like, oh, my real. God. Yeah, he went nuts. So, um, speaking of which, yeah. it's the Toronto side. It's yeah, almost. You can't even talk, talk about, about him. About yeah, I will say, though, like, either way, I like Siakam. He ended I up. I think Siakam and friends. Flynn. What'd you say? If Van if Van Vliet's still out, like I think you go right back to Flynn at thirty one hundred. I agree, but I think Van Vliet plays tonight because he missed last night. I think that the, I think they held him out last night to play tonight, and I still like Siakam. But man, I'm pissed. I used Thad Young over Precious. Precious ball again, dude. Yeah, I know Precious was a nice again. He's good. Yeah, I mean he, he is. When he gets the run, he can play. I mean, yeah. look at his numbers. Yeah, dude, I'm pissed I didn't play him last night. He was, he was better than Thad. I like that a lot. He just, I don't know. I mean, we'll have to see who's in and out for Toronto because these guys are only in play for me if Ananobi's out. Right, right, right. All right. Um, let's go to the next game. These teams Lakers, just play too. I mean, sorry, not like this. Clippers and Houston. Yeah, they just, yeah, they just played again. That is a scary price tag on Reggie Jackson. That is real scary. Like that, like, that's scary to me how Kuzma is to you. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, it's it just, oh, I don't, I don't want to touch it. I think he's a fine play. Definitely. I price tag. Same. I mean, the guy, the two guys I'm looking at the most are Zubac. Morris and Zubach. Yeah. Dude, Morris, his price is decreasing because he has not been good lately. 
but you, he, he's going to shoot himself out of these slumps eventually. I agree. I like him here. Yeah, I think he's a buy low. And actually, speaking of uh, buy lows in our next game, uh, our boy, after we cussed him out for a little bit, played all right. Uh, yeah, he was okay, though. He should have been. He wasn't actually very good. He was just okay. But uh, Well, where he started, that was a hell of a lot better. Yeah. I mean, Zubac actually match. smashed this matchup. Yeah, and I mean, what's what's going to change today? Okay, so he might not have six blocks, but he could have three blocks. Yeah, I mean, listen, he is pricey, so like, I don't know. I mean, he's not a 6K player is my only problem, but if I don't know. I, if he I, plays I, 30 I, minutes, though, he might be a 6K play, yeah, play player. Yeah, but he's not going to play those many minutes consistently. Like, they just played, man, this is the third time they've played Houston in the past four games. Weird. Um, and he's and at 6K, he's hit value. I mean, he's crushed. He lost a ton of run in that first game because they absolutely destroyed them. So, right. yeah, I do like Zubac here. I do. Yeah, I mean, you know, I have, then, I have no problem. The other guy is Covington, 4K or whatever, 4,100. Dude, like, I was I called him out last time, and he was perfect for a cash game, and I just didn't play him. Yeah, I mean, he's fine. I, I'm not scared of him ruining the slate, but at 4K, no. he's right there with, like, KCP for me. Right, right, right. Exactly. That four K range is and they're, and they're and they're similar with you know what their output's gonna look like. For sure. I think KCP has the obviously the higher upside to them above the two of them. Anything from the Houston side you like? Because I don't I mean if if Porter's out, I don't mind going to a shorter. I used Jalen Green last game. He did all right for me. Yeah. But I mean, nothing I'm in love with. Porter being out you know, opens up Schroeder, Green. Yeah. Makes Christian Wood more desirable, but these guys' prices are up. I mean, Green has turned up, but he's very inconsistent. He's taking a ton oh, of yeah. shots, so that's what I mean. He's putting the like every time he catches it because you know, as from watching the Celtics for the past obviously forever, when we had Schroeder, he he is he wants to dish, so he wants to get to the middle and he wants to kick out, and that's when that's why you see the 10 three point attempts, nine, ten, because he's yeah, just saying not, three point line. not gonna lie, if Porter's out, I don't mind Green, yeah. Um, but that's probably it for me. Yeah, same. All right, next, Golden State, Minnesota, Golden State. There's no Clay, no Dre, no Wiseman. BX is questionable, but he's irrelevant. So. Hamilton is not in play here anyways. Um, I don't know. Like, what about Steph Curry with those guys out? I think it makes me like the Jordan Pools of the world better. Like, obviously, Curry's numbers are substantially better with, with Clay off the floor because, obviously, the shot attempts are, you know, higher. Um. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't mind Curry, but you know, I guess is he the stud that you want to play? Probably not, but not, but they're they're probably not, but only because of the last game. We haven't gotten, we haven't talked about any studs yet. I like more, but we're about to. So, well, that's, that's what I mean, right? Um, like a guy like I like Jordan Pools. I like Damian Lee to the world. Yeah, same. I never like really anyone from Golden State when Curry's in, though. So, yeah, Pool I mean, works with Clay out for sure. Right, right. Pool works, and then if you want to take a flyer on my boy Damian Lee, yeah, I definitely like the our Minnesota guys again, though. Oh, I know, me too. People, I'm telling you, some of the people that I talk to, they're like, "What is your obsession with Anthony Edwards? He sucks lately." I'm like, Shh, "Just leave him alone. We had a conversation. We're okay." Yeah, a and yeah. and D'Lo. I mean, yeah. And McDaniels really too. I was gonna say even Vanderbilt and McDaniel's have been playing good ball. Yeah. For me, it still really is uh man, I think McDaniels McDaniel smashed good. last night. Did he? I'm pretty sure. Nah, neither of them did. Yeah. He just made a bunch of threes, but didn't do anything else. Um <laughs> Yeah, D Low and Ant for me. I mean, Cat's really expensive. Yeah, about if I'm getting above ten, I'm going for curry over cat any day of the week. I agree, um, but D'Lo and Ann are still very affordable, and I like both of them. Yep, and if I go back there tonight, I'll have people on my case, but that's okay, because that's what I'm going to, you know. He's, we're, we're, he's close. I was going to say, he's there. It's, that one thing that's bothering me is, like, the shot attempts are down. Like, Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, I feel like because like guys like Vanderbilt and McDaniels take a lot more shots, which take That's annoying. 
Right, but he also had five fouls last night too. So when Edwards gets hot, he will shoot a ton. So that's just what you need. Right. All right I mean, yeah, because you'll get like one of these games right here where if he starts burying them, that exactly. man's taking every shot he can get. Amen. And I mean, yep, yep. All right, bet. All right, next and last is Luca and the boys versus LeBron and the boys. I mean, Luca's the top stud on the slate. Yep. How do you? I mean, what defense that Lakers don't play are you afraid of? Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's going to smash here. I like Luca and I like LeBron a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have no it's problem. A spot for Luca. Also, like, I'm seeing Dwight Howard pop a little bit. Well, he popped last week, too. Or last game, I mean, too. And that's right here. I mean, he's playing consistent 20s, but... I, I just... I don't know. I'm not paying 4300 for Dwight Howard. I don't hate it. Uh... But I probably won't either. But there aren't there aren't that many guys I like that are like really cheap I like tonight. So well, um, would you rather Dwight or Kleba? It's such yeah, a better spot. Price. It's such a better spot for Dallas. Um right. probably neither. Yeah, that's how I feel too. Yeah, Other, I mean, LeBron's gonna be odd. Yeah, he's playing. Uh, there's no one I like on these teams besides LeBron and Luca. Yeah, no. no I, mean, I agree. That's how it is. It's what it is. I mean, right. Dallas is in a much better spot. Even LeBron, I'm a little bit hesitant because Dallas plays so slow, but, like, it's LeBron. I probably won't play LeBron. It's hard to pay off for LeBron and Luka. Well, right, and the other thing is, too, is, like, I want the, the ants of the world again. Mm-hmm. Like, good. Mm-hmm. Slap, me, slap me in the face. Um, you know, I want the answer of the world again, so, yeah. All right, let's each build one quickly. We got like five minutes. Word, build away. All right, throwing Gafford at center. Yep. Not gonna lie, Dwight Howard is all of a sudden like looking okay to me because there isn't a lot of cheap value. That makes sense. Yeah. Um. You know that first game? Give me uh, KCP at shooting guard. Ant at small forward. Um, at power forward, go Marcus Morris. Go Luca at point guard. Yeah. And then what do I have? 55? I mean, it's... <laughs> I mean, you gotta go straight mid here. Kelly, go Kelly O at forward. See, like I think this is partly why I see myself liking a guy like Grant Williams. Oh God, don't do it. That makes me want to vomit too. But like, yeah, I mean that's not for me. And then here I could go. Uh, you can go Zubac and one no one guy that I like that we talked about Jalen Green. Yep. I got a good feeling about him tonight. I hardly ever play him, too. This is like Zubat also. I would say he's 61. Yeah, but who else is down there? Jeremy Grant. Grant. Yep. Give me Grant there, dude. It won't go. There it goes. Yeah. I like that, man. I'm not going to lie. I do. I'm going to get a... All right. I'm going to... I like to never play... This is a lineup of guys I don't play a lot, except for Ant. Hardly, I don't play Luca a ton. I don't play Jalen Green ever. I never, never right. play Marcus Morris. Like, I never play him because he's usually chalky when he's in spots like this. Right. Um, man, I'm digging this. Okay, your turn. Let's do this. All right, let's do this, 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 this. Okay, shooting guard. I'm going to put what's his face there, Jalen Green. Because I, you know, brought him up. It's the only right to put him on there. Power forward, I'm going to go. It's going to hurt your feelings, and it's okay. Um, You're like Grant Williams. Grant Williams. Why? I, I just I just feel like he has a game tonight. Like, not a crazy game, but like. God, that's such a, don't even know. It's, it, 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 listen, it's a bad feeling. Trust me. Yeah, I know. I feel like I want to vomit, but here we are. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, and then I'm going to go. It's like I like his book, Donovich, too. Right. Uh, yeah, he's on my radar. Um, 
do I go KCP here? Or do I go NATO? I don't know. I'm just going to leave that spot open. Go Bogdan here. Okay. Again, spelling 101. Um, uh, If I go if I go KCP here, does that get me what I want? Yes, it does. Oh, I gotta put Bogdan. Hold on. Yeah, you can fit Robert Williams. Yeah. Especially so here's the other thing too. So and this is just from watching the Celtics. So when the Celtics were playing, they were playing so poorly at halftime. Uh, Ime told them he wasn't talking to them until, unless they start playing a lot better in, in, in nice language that they can they can find their own way home. And Horford went in the locker room was like like he like stepped up as a leader. And so I feel like they're gonna come out with a, a little spark under their butts tonight. Yeah, I, I respect that. Maybe that maybe you see that from the defensive end. One other guy we didn't talk about, I just gotta mention him because he's like every time I look, he's popping up. Sadiq Bay. I won't pay sixty six five. Uh, I don't think, but man, like he's yeah. definitely got upside and he dropped 40 the last time they played the Wizards. So there's that. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Yeah. I'm, I'm in the same boat as you. Like you look at him and you're like, damn, like he's got big upside in three of five. Well, big upside in two of five upside in one other and not good. And like, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't so you look at the spot him. Too. What? You got to look at the spot too. Like the spot, like Cleveland defensively is very good, and where he's playing, it's a disadvantage. Right at Bo- or against Boston, like that's not a good spot. Dude, I mean, no, that was that, that game drove me nuts. That last was game was OT. He dropped fifty in Boston. I mean, yeah, I remember. The Pistons are actually playing better right now. They are. They absolutely are. They've won three of five, and their losses like haven't been blowouts. So. This game's like I don't know why, man. I, I said at the beginning this game sucks but from a DFS perspective. Like this game's really appealing. Yeah, yeah, I would agree for that. I mean, probably not for me. I'll take a couple pieces here and there, but fair enough. You know, you know, it is. What no, it is. I, I, I mean, a part of me for a tournament lineup wants to. I want to somehow. It's not going to happen. I'd have to fade Luca. Like go Curry, D'Lo, and. Yeah, no, I, I get that. I mean, I don't think – Luka's expensive, so if you get that blow up – 12K. Yeah, I mean, we know Curry can match Luka on any given day in, like, an optimal lineup. I'm sure Luka's in it right now, but I don't mind that at all. Um, yeah, that's all I got for this one. You got anything else? That's all I got. I, I am continuously around due to paternity leave. I am, I don't leave my house very often, so. Well, enjoy it while it Let me know. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy it while it lasts. Thank you guys as always. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. See ya.